Hello and welcome to the Mercury Vapor Grow channel. So today what I have uh, for you is the comparison between the old and the new Philips uh, floodlights here. So we have a, a 100 watt a high pressure sodium uh, floodlight here and then we have the 150 watt LED uh, floodlight, floodlight right here. And um, this one is uh, called the SNF100 and this one here is called the BVP155 and here is some specs so you can easily find this on the internet. Uh, both of these are no longer being made by Philips so the LED one has a successor to it already and of course they don't make the high pressure sodium ones anymore. So let's turn them around and see the back of these fixtures and compare them to so these floodlights are pretty similar in size i must say i mean the led one of course is a, a lot more flat and but the so the the, the holes here for mounting somewhere they seem pretty standard they are pretty much the same and uh, the other thing is that the high pressure sodium fixture of course is serviceable so you can open the gear compartment and you can also open these clips here to change the bulb whereas this uh, LED fixture here is completely non-serviceable so once it burns out it's uh, done I guess so since the LED fixture I cannot co open up, I guess I will still open this one up for you, show it for you very quickly and then I will fire both of the floodlights here up for you. So by loosening two screws, uh, excuse me, four screws here, you can take this uh, compartment cover off and then you can look inside the compartment so you hear it's the standard Philips gear with the three tap uh, reactor ballast and then you have a capacitor for power factor correction and so then under it there is the igniter and it's the gear for the 100 watt E40 socket lamp high pressure sodium lamp so and last but not least of course here with opening the clips, there are four clips. Two of them are hinges and two of them are openers. You can go get inside this floodlight here to change the 100 watt uh, high pressure sodium tubular lamp. And more over here is the sticker that says what fixture it is, the SNF100 for the data because it has the capacitor it has a, a cosinus phi of one, 0 0.9 so it has the power factor correction obviously well let's fire both of these up and compare them i guess so let's start up the high pressure sodium one here first and then we will have a look at the led one because of course it's able to start from one second to another. So let's go. It's really quiet, you don't hear the bellows that much. One thing I have to say is that uh, the LED floodlight is an asymmetrical one that is it it throws the light mostly in one direction and this is in this case this way forward so if it would be mounted like on an industrial building or something then it would light up uh, far from the building and this one is a symmetrical one so it mostly throws just a spot of light below it and it doesn't send the light anywhere really i mean only under like itself so you can see it's warming up pretty quickly and also the hot ridge drag time of this is pretty pretty good as with the Philips starting systems it usually is pretty quick 
so we will let it warm up for another minute or so and then I will come back with the LED fixture for comparison and we are expecting the LED fixture to be brighter because it's similar lumen per watt but it's 150 watt instead of 100 it is so bright that the camera keeps flickering it can't really handle this much light and when we look here it it's still flickering it's really really bright i cannot change that but you can see the white is dominant so obviously the led one is brighter than the hypersure sodium but this was to be expected anyway it's an interesting comparison of what the past had to offer and what the LED have to offer now and even with that this model is uh, no longer produced so this LED model there is newer ones available this technology keeps developing all the time well I hope you found this video interesting and thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye